Hello, my name is Justin Curran and this informal assessment strategy video focuses on student generated test questions as an effective classroom assessment technique. The driving principles behind this classroom assessment technique is what are the important concepts from the student's perspective? What topics do they align themselves with and what emphasis do they think has been placed on the content in the course? What do the good students consider fair and useful content? So from the student's perspective, what's a fair assessment of the content and what parts of the content have been useful to them in their studies throughout the course? Also, this will help answer, can students adequately and accurately answer their own questions? Do they have the sufficient breadth and depth of knowledge from the course in order to properly answer questions that would be presented to them on an exam or test situation? And finally, do students accurately reflect the course content? Do they show only minimal breadth in the course content? Do they have sufficient depth? Do they cover all the important to topics as seen from the instructor's point of view? Do they perhaps see topics that the instructor doesn't see himself? The strategy context for this CAT are suitable for any course involving formal assessment using a question and answer format, so any test or any course where tests are administered either in a formal or informal setting. And the strategy context will also help aid students and instructors with preparation for exams, midterms, and tests, helping to foster better alignment between student expectations and instructor expectations, as well as giving a fairer assessment of the student's knowledge. Limitations on this strategy um, can stem from the students being unable to generate adequate questions, either in breadth or depth. Students may also find it daunting to try and create questions if they're unfamiliar with it, how to create a meaningful question. They may find it quite difficult. And feedback is required to indicate the level of inclusion on the test, so how many of the questions the students generate will appear on the test, as well as how many questions will appear this, that the instructor generates, and what sort of alignment are there between the student-generated questions and the questions the instructor would have generated, as this will aid the students uh, in reviewing and studying for the final test. Advantages to the strategy are to provide insight into the student's own knowledge or core concepts. Student suggestion questions prepare students for the best for the test by preempting the studying mechanism. It can also reduce surprise for the students and the instructor as to how students will perform on the test and what their current knowledge level is. It also is an excellent feedback mechanism for the instructor to evaluate the level of class knowledge and the expected difficulties. Also, it provides the instructor with insight into the proposed questions from the students, as well as the depth and breadth of their learning on the specified topics. Best practices for this informal assessment strategy is to provide students with at least two to three weeks a warning prior to the exam so that students have adequate time to prepare and for the instructor to have adequate time to include the generated questions on the exam. Possibly allow students to work in small teams or groups to help generate questions, but require them to answer them individually so that the instructor gets a better sense of individual performance, but students don't feel daunted by trying to generate questions by themselves. And the instructor must provide feedback to the class on the quality of the questions and responses. How well did the students do at covering the breadth of topics? How well were the questions answered? And so forth. The instructor must also indicate if these questions created will be incorporated into the exam and what the di distribution of other questions will be, as in how many other questions will be on the exam and how many of those questions are from the instructor, what sort of weighting do each of these questions have, Finally, learner feedback is key in this method. Feedback should be delivered directly to the class in two parts, as in video rules, based on the answers they provide to each question, and as a group, based on the quality and breadth of questions delivered to the instructor from the entire class. The feedback should also indicate how and if the questions will be incorporated on the test. And the feedback should be addressed based on the response of the learners, how well prepared they are for the RIT test. 
as in did the students cover all the topics adequately, what topics were missed, how might you modify the questions proposed in order to test higher levels of learning, or if the tests and questions were too high, how to simplify the questions to more accurately reflect the level of testing desired by the instructor. Thanks. Here's a list of my references where I drew upon resources for generating this informal assessment strategy video. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.